today. And it's just a thrill and a privilege to be able to do this. Um, so today we are going to do a um, pretty, I, I don't want to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to do some breathing after we ground and center, set our intention. We'll do some breathing to get ourselves activated um, and center. And then we'll move to the mat. We'll do some movement. Uh, we'll do about 30, 35 minutes. Um, hopefully, um, in the course of that, we'll be able to align the breath and the movement in a way that opens the body and stills the mind. So the goal here is to be able to use these tools to regulate and, res and, and manage our mind states as we go off the mat. So we practice on the mat with that which we wish to take off the mat into the world at large. So um, without further ado, let us do that. So please come into a grounded, centered posture. Bring yourself into yourself. Come into this place. Come into this space. Center in and root down. Feel yourself in this strong, supported, steady position, finding the supports that you need in order to begin your practice. Remembering that support precedes action. Root into your sits bones, into your feet, into whatever part of your body is in contact with the, with the floor or the chair or the seat or something. And feel into that connection. Bring your awareness to that connection as support and lean into that support. Be supported in your posture. Remembering that it is your practice. You're in the privacy of your own home and your own space. Do what is right for you. Listen to the wisdom of your body. Modify any posture at any time. Take any alternate posture at any time. Come out of any posture at any time. Recognize the rhythm and pace of your own breath as the guide to your own practice. And having established yourself in support, I invite you to lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the crown. Tuck the chin slightly, feel the full length of the spine from the base to the crown. And then bring your awareness to your heart space by floating your hands to your heart in a way that most brings awareness to your heart. Maybe your left hand over your heart, right hand over your left. Four hands in prayer, thumb knuckles resting lightly. Feel the heart beating beneath the thumb knuckles. Bring your awareness to your heart space. And I invite you, as you inhale, to allow to arise in your heart space any one thing for which you are grateful. Maybe just the possibility of gratitude. Feel into that. Whatever it is that you're grateful for, anchor it right there at your heart space. And then having established support and allowed gratitude to arise, I invite you to set an intention for your practice if you choose, not necessary, but if you choose. And if you do choose to set an intention, do so in a clear and declarative voice. Hear yourself in your mind's ear as you state your intention for your practice. And then anchor your intention right there next to your gratitude. And taking a full inhale. As you exhale, if you choose, allow your chin to bow toward your grateful, intentional heart and offer a benediction to seal your intention. As I say, namo, namaste. And release the hands down, inhale, the chin up. And we'll begin by just bringing some awareness to the breath, beginning to breathe in and out through the left nostril with mental awareness, or if your practice includes a hand mudra, you can go ahead and use your mudra. But bring your awareness to your left nostril and just begin breathing in and out through the left nostril only. In your rhythm, your pace, your breath. So you may be wanting to be a little active here. Or maybe you're just taking long, deep inhales and complete exhales. The inhale and the exhale are the same length, volume and intensity, duration, volume of air. The body is very still and the awareness is on the breath in the nostril. It's a simple breath. We're just breathing in and out through the left. Finding your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Maybe long, deep inhale, complete exhale, or maybe you're being a little more active. 
finding a little bit of diaphragmatic movement to isolate whatever your whatever your approach is here. Full inhales, complete exhales. And on your next inhale, take a full inhalation. And as you exhale, switch your awareness or your mudra to your right nostril and begin to breathe in and out through the right. Again, your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Long, deep inhales. And maybe your different rhythm on one side than the other. That's absolutely okay. You're finding what's right for you in your practice tonight. Some people find that one side may be a little more challenging than the other, and that's absolutely okay. It's as it should be. And again, the body is still awareness on the breath and the nostril. Whether you're doing long, deep inhale, a complete exhale, or whether you're being a little more active, you're just being in your breath. Take a full inhale on your next inhale. And then bring your awareness to both nostrils and breathe out and in through both nostrils. And again, your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice, maybe adding a little diaphragm, maybe not, just being in your breath here, just activating our connection to the breath. We're uh, yoking or connecting the mind and the body through the awareness on the breath. Just a simple awareness, bringing ourselves present and being in the breath. This is how we come into our practice. <laughs> the key to our practice is our breath. Awareness of the breath is what allows us to be present with ourselves and whatever our circumstances are. Stay in your practice. Be in your body. Feel into the awareness of the breath in the nostrils. Just breathe. Your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. <laughs> On your next inhale, take a full inhale. And gently retain this breath. Relax the shoulders, lift gently at the base of the spine, at the pelvic bone, at the heart. Allow everything to still. Come to the center and just be still. When you are ready, release the breath, release any lifting and just be still. Allow the breath to come and go as it will. Release any shaping, just be still for a moment. Integrate the work and feel into the shift. So that little breath practice may have shifted something for you, just bringing you here, making you present, allowing you to be more aware of yourself in your space. And then we're gonna smooth that out. Now that we've gotten the nostrils cleared and the body awareness connected to the breath, we're now gonna smooth that out with an alternate nostril breath. So the sequence goes in the following way. We inhale left and exhale right. And then we inhale right and exhale left. So the switch of awareness or of the mudra, if you are using your hand mudra, is on the exhale. And continue that pace, continue that pattern, inhaling left, exhaling right, inhaling right, exhaling left. Hands on the knees, thumbs up if you're receiving inspiration, thumbs down if you feel you need a little more grounding. And just be still and be aware of the breath. Now, if your practice involves a hand mudra to block the nostril, then that's fine. You utilize that to your own advantage in your practice.
Full inhales. Complete exhales. Equal length and volume. And there's no stress, no strain here. We're just sitting and breathing. Couple more rounds here. I bet your next iteration be your last one in this pattern. So when you next find yourself exhaling on the left, Go ahead and release the awareness, release the mudra if you're using a mudra and just sit still, allow everything to settle, let it go of any shaping of the breath and just be still and present with yourself. And again, feel into the shift. So the first breath was an activating breath. You may have feel your energy have been lifted. You may have felt a little heat, especially if you're using some diaphragmatic movement. You may not have. The second breath is a balancing breath. And so you may feel everything kind of settle in across the lobes of the mouth, And maybe you feel the temperature drop a little bit. I always feel a little cooler when we do the balancing breaths. Whatever you're feeling, just note for yourself what effect the practice has on you. Simple little practices, big effects perhaps shifting our mind state and our emotional being are regulating ourselves as we utilize the breath to keep ourselves present. Take a full inhale. A complete exhale. And then prepare yourself by coming to your mat. We're gonna move into our movement part of our practice here. So slide over to your mat. We're gonna start in child's pose or wisdom pose tonight, child's pose or wisdom pose as we call it around here. So the hips push back toward the heels. The knees may be wide in order to allow the torso to fall between them or the knees may be together, bringing the torso down onto the thighs. Depends on our own preferences here. The forehead comes toward the mat. If the forehead doesn't quite reach the mat, we utilize our gear our block at whatever height is appropriate to support the forehead, support preceding action here. Now we're extending the arms in this initial port. So walk the hands out a little further towards the top of your mat. Feel the elbows and forearms get lifted. Maybe even pop up on the fingertips. Feel the length in the other side of the arm. And then press into the fingertips to press the hips back toward the heels feeling the length around the spine as you release. And then maybe massage the temple, the temple by rocking your forehead a little bit. Just feeling into this sort of opening in the back. Breathe in here, full inhale. A complete exhale. And then we're going to open up the side body a little bit. So just walk your fingertips over to the left. Or maybe they come off the mat. Maybe the right hand comes to the top of the left. Maybe not. And just opening up through the right side body. Just extending a little bit. Feeling into that opening. Breathing in. Breathing out. 
rolling a little bit into that left hip, reaching through that right hand, finding length in the right side body, full inhale. Complete exhale. As you inhale, walk the hands back to center. And then as you exhale, walk the hands over to the right. Maybe the right hand comes off the mat. Maybe both hands come off the mat. Maybe you stack the palms. Press a little bit in and roll into that right hip. And open up in the left side body. Breathing in. And breathing out. A full inhale. A complete exhale. Inhale the hands back to center, and then slowly bring yourself forward into your table. So your knees are underneath the hips, palms are underneath the slightly ahead of the shoulders. We're just going to do a couple of cow cats here. So on the cow, we lengthen through the crown, lift the heart, lift the crown of the head, arch the lower back, the lumbar spine. On the exhale, we round the back. Releasing the head, biceps frame the ears, rolling the hips under. And then continuing your rhythm, your pace, your breath. Inhale, belly drops, heart and crown lift. Exhale, round, release, roll. A couple more, find your rhythm, your pace, your breath. And once you find your rhythm, maybe you want to increase the rhythm a little bit. Maybe not. Your practice. Remember, you're in the privacy of your own environment. Listen to the wisdom of your body. Give your body what it needs here. A couple more. One more here. Inhale. Straighten and lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, just walk the hands out and drop the chest toward the mat. So you're releasing the heart toward the mat. Maybe the forehead comes down. Again, fingers extend long, forearms stay lifted. Hips stay over the, over the knees. And we're arching through the middle part of the back. So we're just moving that arch a little higher up into the spine, opening here. And then again, Breathe into it, full inhale. Complete exhale. And then on the inhale, walk the hands back till they're underneath the shoulders. And then we're going to add a little twisting here. So keeping the right hand long, press into the right palm, extend the left arm off the long side of your mat. And then as you inhale, maybe rotate open a little bit. Now staying long out of the right arm. On the exhale, just thread the needle. Take the left hand behind the right elbow and twist to the right. Stay lifted, stay long. You're just reaching underneath the body and across the body. And then work with your breath. Inhale, open, exhale, thread the needle and twist. And just find your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. And just do it a couple here. And we're just opening up, it's early. One more, inhale, open. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale here, bring the left palm back underneath the shoulder. Find length in the left palm, stay long. Take your right arm off the long side of your mat. As you inhale, maybe rotate open to the right a little bit. Maybe the arm raises. As you exhale, thread the needle underneath the body behind the left elbow, stay lifted. And then find your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. As you're just threading the knee, twisting and opening a little bit here. One more, inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, bring the right palm back down. Straighten and lengthen through the crown, curl the toes, lift the knees. Just lift the knees. So you're pressing into the palms and the fingertips, finding your core engaged, and then slowly exhale, straighten the legs, lift the hips, let the head drop, come into your downward dog. So find this posture. So toes align with the wrists, pressing into the fingertips and the heel of the palm, lengthen through the forearms. 
Heels drop toward the mat, crown drops toward the mat, chest and stomach presses back to the thighs. Downward facing dog. Walk your dog a little bit. Bend one knee, press back to the opposite heel. Switch with your breath. Bend the other knee, press back to the other heel. Just find that length in the back of the calves, the back of the legs. Get long in the back side of the body here. Breathe deep behind the heart. Wow. Hmm. All right. Come back to neutral. Heels high, hips high. Press the chest and start to the thighs. Allow the heels to drop toward the back of your mat. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Help it if you need to. Drop the left knee to the top of the left foot. Feel into this. Find your length here. Now, bring the left hand closer inside the right foot and then rotate and maybe lift the right arm coming into your simple twist. Maybe find a little bit more opening here than what you found in your previous posture. Maybe not. Just feel into this. Full inhale. As you exhale, look down. Bring the right hand back down. Frame the foot. And then drop into that left knee. Bringing the left thigh in your mind. You're moving the left thigh towards the right heel. Letting the hips drop. Stabilize here. Bring the hands up. Find your hand position, maybe interlock the thumbs, maybe interlace the fingers except for the index finger, maybe just bring the palms together, whatever works for you. Maybe your hands don't touch, maybe your arms are wide, it doesn't matter. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring the hands down, frame the foot, curl the toes of the left foot, lift the left knee, step back, press back, downward facing dog. A full inhale, a complete exhale. Inhale here, look up between the hands. Exhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands. Help it if you need to. And drop the right knee to the top of the right foot. Again, walk the right hand in a little closer to the left foot. And then rotate the torso to the left. Maybe take the left arm high. Simple twist. Feeling into that opening. Breathing deep into the belly. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale here, exhale, look down. Bring the left hand down, frame the foot, and then bend into that right knee. And imagine you're bringing the right thigh towards the left heel. Find your length and stability, and then pick up your arms. And again, find your hand position, and maybe it's a little different on this side, it doesn't matter. Find your length. Sink the hips as you lengthen through the fingertips. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands down, frame the foot, curl the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee, step back, press back, downward facing dog. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, walk the feet forward between the hands, coming into a forward fold. Release the hands, release the forehead toward the shins, maybe wrap the elbows in front of or behind the legs. Just find your forward fold for a minute. Find a minute. Swivel your hips and balance yourself here as you find your length, maybe straightening your legs. Full inhale. Complete exhale. If you're holding your elbows, release the elbows down. Bring the palms to the shins, straighten the arms, lift the back, flat back, breathe in behind the heart. Full inhale. As you exhale, forward fold. As you inhale, root into the feet. So bend the knees, feel the weight in the heels especially, and then slowly roll up. One vertebra at a time. Gathering as you go, as your arms come up, the shoulders will roll up, the arms will come up. And exhale, release the hands to prayer at the chest. Take a full inhale. A complete exhale. Find yourself standing. Take a moment to let everything settle. Feel the blood begin to settle. Check in with your gratitude. Check in with your intention. Full inhale. A complete exhale. On your next inhale, the arms will go high. Straight line lift. On the exhale, fold forward. 
On the inhale, the flat back. Breathe behind the heart. Exhale, fold. Place the hands beside the feet. Step the right foot back into a lunge. Option to drop the right foot or right knee if you like, or just stay here for a moment. Imagine you're pressing, lifting the right thigh, pressing into the left heel, and then bring the arms up. Ooh. Find your arm position. This is your crescent lunge or high lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, press back through the right heel, lift the right thigh, press down into the left heel, lengthen through the fingers. Find your focal point for balance, breathe in. On the exhale, look down, frame the foot, step back, press back, down or facing dog. A full inhale, a complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. Now again, option to drop the left knee or stabilize here. Press back through the left heel, down into the right heel, find your balance, bring your arms up. Establish your arm position, find your focal point for breathing, press back through the left heel, lift the left thigh, press down into the right heel, lengthen. Full inhale, a complete exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, look down, bring the foot, press back, step back, downward facing dog. A full inhale, a complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands, walk, step, or hop the feet forward, coming into your forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Gathering as you go. Exhale, release the hands to prayer. Take a breath here. Recheck with your gratitude and your intention. Stabilize in your mountain pose. And then on the inhale, take the arms up. On the exhale, fold. On the inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Hands beside the feet. Step the right foot back into a lunge. Again, drop the right knee if you like to. Inhale, rise up, come into your crescent. Exhale, sink in. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer. And then rotate the torso to the left, coming into your twist. Pressing the palms at the chest, stacking the shoulders, maybe looking back over the left shoulder. Pressing back through the right heel, down into the left heel, opening into your twist. Option to open the arms if you like. Little butterfly arms if you like that. Inhale here. Exhale if the arms are open, bring them back to prayer. Inhale here. Exhale, look down. Bring the hands down, frame the foot. Step back, press back, downward facing dog. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. Again, option to drop the left knee. Stabilize and come up, find your lunge. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink in, press back through the left heel, lift the left thigh down into the right heel. Lengthen through the fingers. Stand into your pressing. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer at the chest. And then rotate the torso to the right, bring the left elbow outside the right thigh or to the right knee. Again, press back through the left heel, lift the left thigh, stack the shoulders, press the palms at the chest, breathe, full inhale, complete exhale. Inhale here, exhale, look down, frame the foot, press back, Downward facing dog. A full inhale, a complete exhale. Inhale here, exhale, look up between the hands, walk, step, or float forward, come into your forward fold. Inhale to a flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, gathering as you go. Exhale, release the hands to prayer. Take a breath. Check in with your intention, with your gratitude. Be present at the top of your mat.
Inhale here. Exhale. On the inhale, take the arms up. And then on the exhale, hinge forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Place the hands beside the feet. Step the right foot back to a lunge. Then step the left foot back to join it. And inhale to a plank. Stabilize in plank. Find yourself here. Now we're going to roll into the right side. So find yourself in your right hand. Press out of the right fingertips and the right palm. Roll to the outside of your right foot. Take your left foot behind to support or on top of to stack. And then open the chest to the left, maybe bringing the hand, left hand to the chest. Find this posture. Maybe take the left hand high. Stacking shoulders. Opening and breathing, side plank. Strong move here. Steady and sure. Find your gazing point. Balance is focus. Find your focus. Inhale here. And then exhale. Look down, bring the left hand down, roll back to plank, press back down, facing dog. Take a full inhale and a complete exhale. Inhale, forward into plank and stabilize. Now find yourself on your left hand, press out of the left fingertips and the left palm, roll to the ball, to the side of the left foot. Take your right foot behind you to support or stack at the top to the left. And then maybe open the torso to the right, bringing the hand to the chest. Or maybe taking the right arm high, finding your length, side plank, strong, steady, sure, breathing into your practice. A full inhale, a complete exhale. Inhale here, exhale, look down, bring the right hand down, frame the foot. Press back down, facing dog. A full inhale, a complete exhale. Inhale here, exhale, drop the knees, release the tops of the feet, press the hips back to the heels, come into your extended wisdom pose. Release the lower back, then take the hands back by the feet, palms up, full wisdom pose. Take a breath, a full inhale, a complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, tuck the chin toward the chest and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Head and neck come up last. When the spine is straight, then lift the chin slightly. Bring the hands to the thighs. Now, if it's not comfortable to sit on your heels, you can take your block and sit on your block. You can place a cushion or a block over your calves and sit on the cushion. You can take a towel or a blanket, wrap it up. Whatever support you need, find your supports here. I'm gonna be here for a minute. And then we're gonna do a little activating breath here. So the arms will come up and palms will play against each other. If, you know, if your palms don't touch, that's fine. Your hands are wherever is appropriate for your shoulders. All right, let me set my timer so we don't overdo it here. I'm just gonna activate here with a little bit of breath of fire in this posture. So you don't wanna overdo it, okay. So arms up, palms centered and Breath of fire is simply a diaphragmatic breath where we accentuate the exhale by using the diaphragm, pulling the belly button towards the spine. And again, your rhythm, your pace, your breath. So I'm gonna do like one breath per second. So I pull the diaphragm, belly button towards spine on the exhale. And then when we release that diaphragm, the inhale comes. Now there's no stress, no strain, no overexertion. And the inhale and the exhale are the same length and volume and intensity. So although it feels like we're accentuating the exhale, we're actually equal. And again, you'll find your rhythm, your pace, your breath, 
you are practice. The wonderful centering posture, allowing ourselves to be very, very centered, very present, right here, right now. Nothing happening but the breath. And continuing, finding our rhythm, just rolling with this, finding our pace, feeling into it. Alignment of breath and, and movement to still the mind. So notice what happens when you're challenged a little bit. Where does your mind go? And don't overthink it. Just be in your breath. You're just breathing. Maybe your pace is a little slower. Maybe you're just taking long, deep breaths. It doesn't matter. Your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Take a full inhale. Lift gently at the base of the spine, at the pelvic bone, at the heart. Extend through the fingertips. Relax the shoulders, even though your arms are lifted. Just be still. Lengthen and lift. When you're ready, exhale. Let your hands float down, palms down, clearing the space around you. And then roll off of your heels and just come down onto your back. on your mat. Let your toes fall open, let the palms fall up at the side of the body. Take the knees, or the, I'm sorry, take the heels as wide as is comfortable for you on your mat. Lengthen through the crown and then pull as if you could pull down on your side ribs and allow your lower spine to be felt on the mat. And then take a moment here to provide yourself with any additional supports that you may want or desire in your guided rest. So maybe you have an eye cloth and maybe you have a blanket or a shawl, maybe you have a bolster, whatever it is that you want or need here. Take a moment to provide that for yourself as we move into our guided rest. We're gonna do a extended rest period today. I'm gonna move the awareness around the body and we're checking for areas of tightness, of constriction, of contraction. And so we will begin at the soles of the feet. So bring your awareness to the bottom of your feet, the soles of your feet and to your toes, and to the tops of your feet, and to your heels. And then just observe for tightness or tension, and then actively relax. So just take a breath in and a breath out, breathe into the feet. And then bring your awareness to your ankles, to your shins and to your calves, and to your knees, and to your thighs, to your hamstrings and your quadriceps. And just feel into any tension or tightness, breathe in and actively release on the exhale, relax. Now bring your awareness to your hips, to your sits bones, to your buttocks, 
to your sacral area, to the SI joint at the top of the buttocks at the back. And again, breathe in to any tightness or constriction you may find in that area. And then on exhale, actively release and relax. And then bring your awareness to your lower back and to your abdomen. Breathing in to that area and actively releasing and relaxing as you exhale. And bring your awareness to your ribs and to your middle back. And again, breathe in to that area. And as you exhale, actively release and relax. Then bring your awareness to your upper back and to your chest. Breathing into that area and actively releasing or relaxing as you exhale any tension or tightness in that area. And bring your awareness to your shoulders and to your neck. And again, breathe in and actively release and relax as you breathe out. Bring your awareness to the triceps and the biceps, the tops of the arms, the elbows and the forearms. Breathe in to that area. And as you exhale, actively release and relax all tension and tightness in the arms. Bring awareness to the wrists to the back of the hands, to the fingers, and to the palms of the hands, breathing into that area. Exhale, breathing out any tension or tightness in the hands. Bringing awareness to the jaw, to the mouth, to the tongue, to the muscles at the back of the throat, and to the back of the head. Breathing in to that area, actively releasing any tension or tightness as you breathe out from that area. Bringing awareness to the nasal passages, the muscles and nerves behind the nose, the eyeballs, the eye sockets, and the muscles and nerves behind the eyes. Breathing into that area. Actively releasing any tension or tightness as we breathe out from that area. Bringing awareness to the skull, to the mind, to the area behind the brow point between the ears. Breathe into that area. And actively relax and release any tension, any constriction, any tightness as you breathe out from that area. And finally, bring awareness to the crown of the head, the area just above and outside the top of your head. Breathe into that space and then see yourself in your entirety from that position. So imagine you're witnessing yourself from the crown of your head, resting here in your space on your mat. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, just allow everything to go. Just let everything go. Just be at rest. You're done. Be done. Allow yourself to rest. And just be at rest here. And as you rest here, allow once again in your heart space to arise any one thing for which you are grateful. 
maybe just the sense of gratitude or possibility of gratitude. And as you rest here in gratitude, I'll take this opportunity to extend my sense of gratitude to you. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your practice. I'm honored to be here, truly. And as always, I invite and encourage you to stay here in grateful rest for as long as you like. And when you do rise, take your gratitude and the echoes of your practice with you as you go through the remainder of your day, lifting yourself and all that you come into contact with. Have an amazing day.